On the vibrant world of Xi'an, life existed in a curious rhythm. The Xi'anians, tall and ethereal with shimmering skin, were cursed with a cruel twist of evolution. Their very life force was inextricably tied to a rare element, Xinthium. Every five minutes, their bodies craved a fresh infusion, a gasp for existence. For each generation, this cycle shortened. Their ancestors, the Fei Zian, breathed freely for an hour. The current generation, the Ka Zian, were down to a mere five minutes. Their entire society revolved around this desperate dance with death. Their cities were marvels of efficiency. Automated harvesting drones scoured the volcanic vents for Xinthium, their movements a constant hum against the backdrop of swirling nebulae in the Xi'anian sky. Life moved at a frenetic pace. Conversations were clipped, laughter fleeting, every moment precious. Xi'anian homes were marvels of technology. Walls pulsed with a soft, bioluminescent glow, constantly monitoring xinthium levels. At the four-minute mark, a gentle chime would sound, a reminder to prepare for the renewal. Special chambers, filled with the precious gas, awaited each citizen. Anya, a young Ka Zian with eyes the color of twilight, stood poised before her chamber. Her heart pounded a frantic rhythm against her ribs, a counterpoint to the ticking clock of her existence. Every renewal was a gamble. The Xinthium reserves were dwindling, whispers of a great famine spreading like wildfire. This time, the chamber malfunctioned. The chime for the five-minute mark echoed, but the chamber door remained stubbornly shut. Panic clawed at Anya's throat. Her vision swam, the once vibrant world fading. Just as darkness threatened to claim her, a hand shot out, slamming a vial filled with a shimmering liquid against the chamber. The door hissed open, and Anya stumbled out, gasping for the revitalizing Xinthium. Her savior, Kale, a young inventor with eyes that mirrored the nebulae above, stood before her, his face etched with worry. Anya, he rasped, the reserves are at critically low levels. My research. He trailed off, his face grim. Anya understood. Kale had been tinkering with a device, a gamble to break their dependence on Xinthium. A desperate hope in a dying world. Together, they embarked on a daring mission. They would venture into the forbidden zones, volcanic wastelands rumored to hold a mythical Xinthium crystal, a legendary source of boundless life force. Their journey was fraught with peril, fiery geysers, razor-sharp obsidian fields, and whispers of monstrous creatures rumored to guard the crystal. But fueled by the desperate need to survive, they pressed on. Finally, they stood before a colossal obsidian shard, pulsating with an ethereal glow, the Xinthium crystal. But guarding it was a colossal obsidian beast, its eyes burning with molten fury. A desperate battle ensued, a dance between life and death. In the end, it was Kale's ingenuity that saved them. He used Anya's knowledge of Xianian technology to create a diversion, allowing him to shatter the beast's obsidian armor, exposing its vulnerable core. With the beast vanquished, they claimed the crystal. Back in their city, its presence pulsed with a life-giving energy. The renewal chime ceased, replaced by a soft hum of the crystal revitalizing the atmosphere. The Xianians were free. Their reliance on the five-minute dance with death was over. But the near extinction had left its mark. They vowed to use technology responsibly, to cherish every breath, a testament to the generation that refused to let their light flicker out. The story of Anya and Kale became a legend, a reminder that even in the face of oblivion, hope could bloom.